Hey viewers, my name's Kara and I'm your Tuesday host on The Pagan Perspective. This week we are talking about our opinions on Lori Cabot. And literally, that's that's the whole topic, just giving our opinions because one of our viewers just doesn't really know what to think about her, so they want to know what we would think about her. So initially, I want to give you my initial reaction, uh, which is that I don't think anything about her because I don't know anything about her. I know her name, I know that she exists, I know that she has something to do with paganism or witchcraft, I don't even know, I assume witchcraft. Um, Bless you! <laughs> My friend just sneezed over there. But I haven't seen anything of her. I haven't read anything by her. I literally just know her name and that she exists. At this point, I have no opinion on her because I don't know enough about her either way. So what I'm gonna do is look up some stuff, maybe, about her, just real briefly. And I'm not gonna tell you any of the stuff I learned about her. I'm just gonna tell you my opinion based on what I find out. Well, I'm done with work and I just read a lot of really general articles kind of on Lori Cabot's life and stuff that I've read before but just totally forgot, like the fact that she's an author and owns a shop in Salem and stuff like that. But I'm on my way to a meeting and then I have class, so this video is gonna be really late, so uh, after this meeting I'm gonna walk down to my class and give you all of my thoughts. All right, hi again everyone. I am walking to class right now, so I'm going to talk to you a bit about Lori Cabot. From what I have learned or reminded myself, Lori Cabot is a pretty influential individual in just the community of witchcraft in general. If you can if you can think for a minute of witchcraft in itself being a community, Lori Cabot has been really influential in political ways and just uh, public relations type ways. She's gotten a lot of things done. She was one of the people who helped getting witchcraft recognized as a religion and you know it's in the public eye. She holds the title the official witch of Salem uh, which is kind of a big deal just for any place to recognize like not only are there witches but we have an official witch and that they are kind of proud of that. I think that Salem is not only okay with it, but proud of this kind of thing, and I think that's cool. There are a lot of issues and opinions on the fact that she is really commercial, if you will, and that she has a shop and she really overcharges for things that maybe by some people's opinions shouldn't even be being charged for in the first place. And you guys know that I really have some strong opinions on that, and I don't like overcharging people. Of course I like to make a profit for things that I do that help other people, but I definitely don't, I don't inflate the price so much to give myself way more than is necessary. And especially where it's things like you've taken the time to develop this gift, yes, of course you should get a little bit of compensation for that because you've taken the time to do this and you are helping this other person out in a way. But I really don't believe in totally capitalizing on it, so there are some really strong opinions about that. There's a lot of opinions about the fact that she like has a large tattoo on her face and goes around wearing cloaks and dark makeup all the time. And and, you know, that she's just trying to make money off this image of being a witch. See, the thing is, though, from what I can tell, it seems like she just really is this person and just really wants to be able to portray herself this way and wants to be herself, you know? And I think a lot more of us have talked about that, um, that we would dress like that and do things like that more often if it were more socially acceptable. And to me, it just seems like Lori Cabot doesn't care what people think of her. So, yeah, I don't know if I would uh, buy things from her shop. In fact, I probably would not um, because I don't believe in overcharging. And But I have to say that I think we have to recognize that certain people have done really good things for the community and I think that even if she is commercial, even if she is superficial, even if she is whatever these negative things, I think she's done a lot for us and we kind of have to thank her for that because there have to be these outliers, there have to be people who are in the public eye and do get made fun of maybe and all this other stuff but they're out there and they make people know that we exist. And yes, I do think it would be very beneficial for there to be more of us, uh, let's just use this term even though it's ridiculous, every day full out there um, portraying witchcraft and Wicca and paganism and all of these things which I kind of think is what we're doing on this channel and on YouTube in general and it would be great if more people could see this stuff so that they know that Lori Cabot and Christian Day and Silver Raven Wolf aren't the only ones out there but we work with what we've got so that's my opinion on Lori Cabot and I will see you next time thank you very much for watching and blessed be see look it's dark out now because today I've been so busy it is now 8 p.m. and I haven't been back to my room since 9 a.m. 
a.m. because I've been in and out of classes and meetings literally all day and I just got back from an event for the project I'm working on for my senior capstone so right now I'm going back to my room and uploading this video and this is why it's late. I apologize. Thank you so much for always being patient with me. I know I need to plan ahead but I totally forgot all this stuff was happening today so again thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for your continued support thank you for putting up with me and thank you for watching.